Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel, A Day in the Life of Rhea. Thanks for stopping by and tuning in and welcome to today's video. And sorry for that background noise, you'll hear it throughout the whole video. Every time it rains here, I think it's a frog, it makes all this noise, so please bear with me. So I'm trying to get excited for my travels again, you know, with so many travel restrictions, it's very frustrating and it just takes the fun out of travel. I am so ready to leave this country because I don't like to stay in one place for too long. I've been in this country for about a year and a half now and I was never even supposed to be in San Reap at all. It was never in my plan. So my plan was to come to Phnom Penh, go to school, get a job, get an apartment, live out my dream of living abroad and save up to be able to move to the next country to check off yet another career goal. And I accomplished most of that except for moving to another country because you know, the state of the world that we're living in happened and I wasn't able to travel as freely as I would have liked to. But that was short-lived because less than two months after getting a job, I lost my job. And hopefully this is the last time I'll have to talk about this. I'm kind of tired of talking about it. And so I lost my job and the same day that I left out to go sign my paperwork at my job, stating that it was my last day of work, I get back to my apartment building and see that they put a note on the elevator saying that they have sold the building and the new owners wanted everybody out by the end of the month. And by the time I saw the letter, I only had two weeks to move, but the previous owner actually asked me to move within a week in order to get half my rent back and my security deposit back the same day that I moved. So I've been kind of scarred from getting apartments. I don't want the same thing to happen. But you know, I was kind of being in a positive mood and looking for positive perspectives and trying to be positive on anything and everything that happened. So you know, I just looked at it as a blessing in disguise because if you lose your job, you don't want to be locked into a lease. And on top of that, my rent was more than what a hotel or Airbnbs would cost. So anyways, I've just been hopping around from hotel to Airbnbs ever since then and just trying to buy some time and I wasn't able to travel and move to another country to start another career goal and on top of that I wasn't able to travel to other countries that I had planned you know I had a lot of trips planned over the summer for my birthday that I didn't get to do because you know a lot of the travel restrictions started and then a lot of countries started closing on top of me losing my job you know times were so uncertain so I was just pretty much stuck and I still feel like I'm stuck, but you know, I don't want anything to hold me back. So I'm trying to do whatever I can in my power to be able to get out of this country before I lose my mind. And so it was very frustrating when it came time for me to leave last year and I didn't know where to go, you know, due to all the travel restrictions. And so I found a way to stay. And you know, I figured by the time my visa was up, I would have figured out where I would go next, but I was still in the same situation. You know, the travel restrictions had probably gotten even worse by then, and I didn't know where to go. But then, unexpectedly, I got a job. So then I got another visa, and then I lost my job a month later. So, you know, I didn't want to waste my visa that I had paid for, so I just wound up staying anyway. But now, you know, I'm so ready to go. I'm so ready to travel. Traveling is my biggest passion and I just feel so empty without it. And so I'm just trying to get back into traveling, even though, you know, with all the travel restrictions going on, it just makes me not want to travel. But, you know, I'm going to still try to live out my dreams of traveling even though I really don't want to face having to get tested. And you know, I think it's crazy. I think the system is really brave. And here's why I say that, you know, you can find a country that does not have any type of restrictions, but the only airlines that are flying there, they require you to have the test. And even if the airlines don't require you to have the test, they actually fly through a country where you need the test, even if it's a layover. Some countries, even if you're just there for a layover, you need a PCR test in order to be able to enter that country just for your layover. So, you know, it's very frustrating and I just don't think there's any way around it. So it'll be something that I have to go through if I want to travel. But anyways, this video today is basically about asking my subscribers and my viewers to give me suggestions on places that they want to see me travel to. So I'm free to travel anywhere in the world as long as they're open, but ideally I would like to go places that do not have any restrictions, but I think I'll have to give in and deal with these restrictions. And even though I'm not as traveled as I would like to be because I wanted to finish college first so that I didn't have anything holding me back, I just wanted to be free to travel. So after that point, you know, I did get to travel to some countries and I don't want to miss any country. So I'll be reading off my notes so that I don't forget because I don't want anybody to comment, you know, down below. And then I'll be like, oh, dang, I forgot. I'm sorry. I've been there. So I'll be reading my book. So I'll read the list of the places that I've been to that I don't want to go back to for my next trip or anytime soon. So, I've been to the Bahamas, of course, Cambodia, Curacao, 
Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Grand Cayman Islands, Hawaii, Jamaica, Japan, Mexico, Puerto Rico, St. Martin, St. Lucia, and Vietnam. And I know some people, they count their layovers as places or countries that they've been, but I won't be doing that. But I had been to a bar restaurant that was right next to Barbados Airport. And you know, it was like outside of the airport, but I still don't count that as a country that I've been to. But I don't want to go to Barbados because I do like new stamps. And other countries that I had a layover in that I don't want to go to is China and South Korea. And of course I don't want to go anywhere in the U.S. I'm avoiding that place like the plague, no pun intended. <laughs> so even with all of the travel restrictions, there are a lot of countries that are opening up. And so these are the countries that are open. <laughs> So those are the countries that's open and so these are the countries that are open without restrictions. So this list has been getting shorter and shorter as time goes on. There's only a few that's on the list. You have Albania, Colombia, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Mexico, and North Macedonia. These are the countries that have been removed recently. So this is the list. And half of them I've been to. So there's only a few left that I haven't been to on this list. And I would like to avoid as many restrictions as possible, as well as not needing a visa. And it's ideal for me to go to countries that you don't need a visa for because one, that'll save me some money. On top of saving room in my passport, I purposely travel to places that you don't need a visa for. And if I do need a visa, I always made sure that I went online and printed out my visa ahead of time so that I could save room in my passport because I didn't want to have to pay for another passport on top of going back to the U.S. So that's that. And so these are the countries that I would not need a visa for. They break it down into different regions and it shows how long you can stay in each one without having a visa. I'm so anxious to travel. I really have to apply for my visa really soon and start trying to book these trips. So ideally, I would like to go to a place that does not have restrictions, but it looks like I'll have to face it if I would like to travel. So if you're still watching, please comment down below. I'm really interested in seeing where you guys comment to say where you want to see me travel to. And so if you're still watching, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Of course, comment down below where you would like to see me go. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!